Hi guys, um, welcome to QD Pod. Assuming that you're ready to place your wholesale order, I'm going to walk through. I, I'm going to walk you through the whole process and how you can place the wholesale order on QD Pod. So let's go to the wholesale page first. You will be landing right here. So you can click how to order or you can click to download product list. Either way, you will be landing on the actual patch where you will be where you will be able to place the order, download the order sheets, and the, every information is available there. Right, so we are here on the wholesale page for the buyers where you can see uh, all the information regarding wholesale, whatever you need. For example, information about the payment, shipping, estimate shipping. Actually, you can estimate your shipping fee right here by selecting your uh, by selecting your uh, country type of uh, shipping. For example, that's not document. Others, well, uh, there is another tutorial for this. So you can find it out anyway. So there's a tracking information, FAQ, general, other, other general questions, and contact us. Although there's another area for the contact information, for example, WhatsApp, WeChat, and Skype. All right, so um, here in the leftmost column, you have the list of brands we offer for wholesale. Remember, we can offer almost all Korean cosmetic brands. If the brand is not listed here, it doesn't mean we can't supply. So you just contact us and we will get back to you about that brand. So, all right, so uh, this left column have the list of brands and right here, this area we have a supply rate for that brand according to the order size. Please remember, smaller the order, higher the supply rate, which means lower the discount rate. And higher the order amount, better the rates. So. For example, for orders dollar five hundred plus for three CE, the supply rate is eighty two percent. For orders dollar one thousand and above, it's seventy percent, and dollar two thousand and above, it's sixty eight percent. Remember, this is a supply rate, and supply rate means um, percentage of the product retail price you have to pay. For example, here for each product you have to pay eighty two percent of its retail price. So mean lower the supply rate, higher the discount, or you can say so discount rate equal to supply 100 100% minus supply rate. So here, 100% minus 82%, you are left with 18%. So means 18% is your discount rate. Yeah. So here, uh, your discount rate will be 30%, and here it will be 32%. All right, so here in this column, you have an order sheet download area where you can download the order sheets. And on the rightmost, we have an order upload area where you can upload your order. Remember, you can either email us the order sheet directly or you can upload here and it will be back to us. All right, so um, let's take it. Remember this thing that some brands, they may not have a supply on certain order size for example AHC the order the supply rate there's no supply rate for orders dollar 500 and 1000 the reason is we can't get the supply from the factory or the brand itself so you can't buy um, the products uh, you can't buy this brand by dollar 500 you know order amount so you have to meet the minimum order amount that will be 2000 in this case all right, so um, we take example of Panila Co and uh, we proceed to download the order sheet once you click here. So uh, it will ask you either you want to open it and you choose what application you want to open with or save the file, which is go for open. It will be downloaded and open up. So once you reach the order sheet, remember one, one thing, these order sheets are in a proper format and this is the format which is recognized by our system once you send the order to us so kindly do not do not interfere with the formatting and all the setting of the order sheet just for just the area which is for your concern is the area with the background in a yellow background so rest of the things are not relevant to you so you just need to input the data or any information in the cell which have uh, 
yellow background. So on the top, we have the name, address, postal code, telephone number, WhatsApp for the quick follow-up video, and the email address. Once you scroll down, you got the product name, capacity, retail price, wholesale price, box quantity, and then order quantity, and so on. So, um, <clears throat> sorry, here you can start. First, you need to find the product, which product you're looking for. Remember, there's a lot of products, so it may not be easy for you to scroll down to find the products. So, you can use the function Control F to find the product. All right. So, another thing, um, if you try to input the complete product name to find it, it's likely you can't find because there might be the difference of the product name you have and the, the name on the order sheet. Uh, probably there is a, you know, the, 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 num the, the words are not in a proper sequence or, you know, could be any case. So best is to sh type in the shortest product name and then you can uh, look for the exact product. So let's take an example. <clears throat> There's a product called, uh, let me, yeah, the product name, the full product name is uh, Radiant Longwear Foundation SPF 31 plus blah, blah, blah. So if you type in the complete name, uh, there might be you type SPF capital and here's SPF in a small letter, so you may not find it. So best is to type the shortest name and then you can click on the this this button find next and you can uh, you know easily find out your product so remember to type in the shortest name of the product to easily find it so once you find the product the next thing you can do is to import the quantity you want to order remember <coughs> sorry you have to order minimum quantity of each product by its box quantity because we can't supply the products which are less than the box quantity and the box quantity will be given on every order sheet on the left column, left to the order, uh, sorry, a quantity input, like this is the, the column where you input the order quantity. Right next to it, there will be the box quantity. So you have to follow the box quantity. And one more thing that, for example, the box quantity is 10. You can order 10, 20, 30, and it multiplies up to whatever. You can't order like 15 because 10 will be the box quantity, remaining five units will be out of box quantity and we can't supply the product less than box quantity. So we can't supply you 15 units. So you have to order 10 or <clears throat> 20 and uh, so on. Once you input the order quantity, <clears throat> so uh, the total based on retail price and total based on wholesale price will be automatically calculated. For example, we take few more products. All right. Okay. So, and one more thing: if the product rows or the cells are highlighted in any color, then you should focus on the remarks which we have in the last last column. So that remarks will probably explain to you why this product is highlighted. It could be discontinued, probably going to be discontinued, which means uh, it's not likely we will get the stock. All right, so you should keep an eye on this one. So once you input your quantity, on the top there's a summary box where you can see the total order quantity you're ordering, then the total based on retail price, and then total based on wholesale price. So um, most important thing I forgot to tell you, here is the area where you will input your supply rate according to your order size. So, for example, your order is, uh, for Vanilla Co, you're ordering around <clears throat> dollar 1000 and above, so then your supply rate is 70%. So, you have to input your supply rate right here. So, remember, once you input your supply rate, the wholesale prices will automatically change. So right here, the wholesale prices change. So, uh, <clears throat> so then you need to always check your order size and then you should input the supply rate according to that. Well, if you don't do that, still it's fine. Once, the, once we receive order, we will fix this and send you back. All right, so assuming that your order is ready, you're ready to, you're done with your order and you're ready to move next to upload this order. So just save your order. Uh, in my case, I'm going to save it on the desktop. 
Alright, once saved, now you can head back to, remember you have to input your name. I forgot. Anyway, so um, you have to input all the details right here. Uh, <clears throat> Alright, so you're done. Let's head back to the wholesale page again. So you can either upload your order right here or you can email your order to us at wholesale at q-depot.com. So let's upload this order. Alright, so one more thing I want to tell you that to upload the order you can click on any of these links. You don't need to be exactly opposite to the brand you're ordering so you can upload from any link so let's click this link anywhere so this pop-up window comes up so either you can drag and drop your file here or you can choose the file to upload that upload it all right here is our file we just select it it's gonna going to be uploaded you can see the progress bar right so it's 100 percent done we just need to wait for the message to about being sent. Alright, so this file is sent already. So once it's sent, we will receive the notification, we will receive the file, and then we will contact you back with the further instructions and uh, the process is how your order will be processed and all the details. So um, simple as that. Um, if still you have any confusion, any problem or misunderstanding, you can still contact us. You can email us at wholesale at qhafundipod.com or you can WhatsApp us right here is our WhatsApp number or you can contact us at WeChat or Skype. So I hope it's clear to you now. So if there's anything else, please reach us anytime. Alright, so happy shopping. Good day. Bye-bye.